Do you need a reliable way to collect lead information from your funnel or maybe a website? And wouldn't it be awesome if it directly integrated with your CRM without having to hassle with, you know, some third party survey or form building software like JotForms or SurveyGizmo, maybe even uh, Google Forms. And then, you know, having to tie it all and sync it all together with a bunch of zaps, right? Well, good news, now you can. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to leverage the survey and form building features in Go High Level. Now, make sure you stay till the end and I'll share with you uh, how to get access to all of my pre-built snapshots, funnels, campaigns, and so much more. Don't know what a snapshot is? Well, make sure you check out some of my other videos to learn about all the things that you're able to do with this amazing software. Okay, so get ready and pay attention. You will walk away from this training knowing how to do this from beginning to end, and I plan to break it down super easy for you, even if this is your first time opening up the software. Okay, so check out this quick message before we get started. By the way, if you still haven't joined our free Facebook group, make sure you go on over to Facebook and check that out. In there, we're gonna interview six and seven figure agency owners. Uh, we're gonna have exclusive trainings each and every week. And then also you get one-on-one -on -one interaction with myself, JC Height, and the entire digital agency hacker team. Looking forward to seeing you over there. All right, so in this training, we will go over the form builder and the survey builder features within the marketing tab in Go High Level. Now, as you grow your client base, it's super important to have a form, you know, an opt-in form or even a survey in order to collect your potential clients and leads information, whether it's for your own business or for your client, right? Now, the first thing that you need to do is click on the form builder under the marketing tab. Now, under the builder section, you can see all of your forms. Now, the next step to start by clicking on create new form. Uh, and this is to create your new one from scratch. You'll be redirected to the form so you can begin adding fields uh, which are gonna be shown on the right hand side under the fields slash standard common ones, uh, you know, like first name, last name, email, and phone. Next step, in the custom field section, you can add more fields if you need to uh, by clicking on add custom field. Uh, you'll be shown the different kinds of fields you can create for your form. Make sure you name and you save it at the end. Now, you can add a name to your form by going into the option sections next to styles. Okay, so right under the form name, you can see a section for on submit. And this is for a functionality that can be explored later on, but basically it refers to what you want to do after your lead, you know, or your client's lead clicks on the submit button of your form. And quick note, just a, just a pro tip here, you can also rename uh, that submit button to say something else like, like give me the, uh, give me the lead magnet or something like that. You know, give me the goodie, give me the PDF, give me the download, okay? All right, so check this out. The options can be whether you want your client, uh, you know, or your lead, to be redirected to a specific link. Uh, now, you can provide this by placing it where it says enter URL here. Oh yeah, you can toggle the options, uh, open URL or a message, meaning that simply you can provide a custom message at the end instead of redirecting to a URL. Um, you know, put in something like, thanks for submitting the form, we'll be right with you shortly. Um, you know, or depending on your next step or desired customer journey. Okay, so the next step under the style section, you can actually change the coloring to your opt-in form to mirror your logo or your company branding uh, uh, color, okay? And make it look more professional, customized, you know, depending on, you know, how you want it to be viewed, okay? The option to add custom CSS is also available for more experienced developers that are familiar with that. This is to input a specific design and uh, it's, it's only achievable through these customized options and with some custom coding. If you're familiar with CSS, 
Skip that, you already know what I'm talking about, okay? If not, don't worry, it is not needed. Now, the next step, when you're finally finished with your form, make sure you save form. Okay, so click save form uh, first to save all your work and then integrate the form, okay? Press integrate form to view the link to share the form with others. Um, and also you can select either an iframe embeddable code or the direct link. Make sure to go to the direct link and you know verify that the form is working and looks just the way you want it to, you know, uh, after having customized it with the form builder. Okay, so now you're ready to start creating forms. Now go back to the form builder under the analyze section and you can find information on all the forms submitted um, and also the specific submissions themselves. So we can check all your data that was filled out by your customer. Now make sure to check under the submissions tab. You can further find each submission by contact and view more information from each submission directly. Now, the survey builder is another option for creating these type of forms if you want somebody to opt in um, or, you know, if you want to survey them and gather some information or data. Now, these are used to collect information from leads or prospective clients. Uh, this option is similar, but slightly different from the form builder uh, in the way that it provides, you know, kind of a slide format to the form. Okay, so let's head to the survey builder under the marketing tab, um, very similar to the form builder, uh, you know, where it's located. Now click on create new survey to begin. Now, as you click, you'll see the options to name your survey uh, to the right side and add new slide at the bottom of the survey. Uh, next, you're going to want to populate your survey with the fields that you need to uh, put in there. Now, as shown in the previous steps, just like in the form builder, it's very similar. Double click on a field in order to make it a require field uh, or a hidden field. The same can be done in the form builder in the previous uh, section. Now, provide a field title to customize your survey. And then within the options section, you'll notice the difference between a survey builder and a form builder. So check out the options section. You're going to see where you can disqualify immediately. This allows you to disqualify your prospective clients or your leads after they choose a specific answer uh, within your survey. And this is going to lead them to a custom URL or potentially a custom message, depending on where you want to send them. And it depends a lot on you know, your customer journey and what you wish them to do, depending on how they answer. Uh, so disqualify after submit gives you the option to disqualify your lead. However, this allows them to finish the survey first. So it fires uh, and redirects them after submission, not uh, based on clicking the disqualifying option. OK, if you have any questions about that, please feel free to ask me below. All right. Now, if you wish to add further slides, you may do so and provide further fields. Uh, when you add further slides, this is where you can also direct the journey of the customer or the prospect uh, by setting up conditional logic built into the, uh, uh, the way that they respond to the questions. If you wish to disqualify a lead uh, and, and then send them to a different slide that puts them on the right track, you may do so by using the settings above. Also, you can find further options uh, in the same a section, something like adding a progress bar or even a back button. Okay, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed this just as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you got any value out of this video or you wanna show support to the team or myself and this channel, go ahead and smash that like button and leave a comment here on the video letting me know what you would like to see next or if you have any feedback, happy to take it. Be sure to check out the links in the description to get access to all of my resources, to our community, and to check out some of our potential programs you may be interested in as well. If you have anything you would want to see us do next, don't hesitate to ask. If you're still diving into your journey with GHL, make sure to check out some of my other videos that will help you along the way. All right, so that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.